All right, it's time for a mail call. I just got in everything I need to make some jigs. I got my big order from Do It Molds. I got a box of lead. And uh, I got some blades from China. Some nice little blades to make some bladed swim jigs. You know what I'm talking about. So let's get into this big box from Do It Molds and see what I got. So I've been looking into making my own jigs and baits for a little while now and I finally kind of figured out everything I wanted to do at least just to get started with about four different molds. I went ahead and put together an order and got everything in and I cannot wait to see everything in this box. Paper. A little bit more, more paper. Got some more paper here. All right, now we're getting into the good stuff. So along with the lead that I ordered separately and the swim jig blades that I ordered separately, this is everything I got from Do It Molds. I got four different molds here. One, two, three, and four. So first we have the shake it mold with the screw lock to make some shaky heads. We have the Midwest finesse jig. I can make some Ned rigs. That's what that looks like. I have the poison tail mold just to make some regular skirted jigs that are weedless. And I have the Arky style jig with the turned eye hooks. The Arky style jig with the turned eye hooks and the blades are what's gonna make my bladed swim jigs. I ordered a hot pot too. This obviously for melting the lead down. Got some awesome color powder paints from ProTech. Two ounces of black, two ounces of pearl white, two ounces of June bug, and two ounces of green pumpkin. We have some awesome looking skirts. Got some 3D eyes in red and holographic. We have hooks, 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 more hooks, and a couple more hooks. I have some screw locks for the shaky heads. I have a skirt tool. I have a couple different colors of bands for the skirts. I have some fiber guards for the weedless. I have some little wire keepers for the Midwest finesse jigs. I bought a bag of extra base hole pins. My plan is I want to cut the heads off some of these and try to use them up a little bit to keep from making a base hole. Basically, some of the jigs, I don't want to be weedless. I don't want them to have a fiber guard on them. So I'm going to try to use these to block that hole off so it doesn't create an indention for the fiber guard. And lastly in the box, a little vise to make it a little easier putting the skirts on and cutting skirts and working on some other things. And I'll be able to use this for some other lures and some other projects as well. Well, besides my invoice and a dual mold sticker, that's it. So I also went by Bass Pro Shop, got some fast lock snaps, some split rings in red and silver. I'm gonna do some cool things with the bladed swim jigs. And on top of that, the other day I went to the Let's Go Fishing show in Collinsville and I picked up a bunch of random already banded skirts. So I'm gonna make a few extra jigs, throw these on there and see how they look. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hit that thumbs up to give it a like. It's time to make some jigs.